Hello all you people out there. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Norwegian Outdoor Adventure. Today I'm gonna show you Fjellduken, a bivy bag, survival shelter or a tarp. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So if you want to see more, stick around. One way to use Fjellduken is as a wind bag. It's wind and waterproof and got two zippers for the arms. For some of the constructions I'm going to use a paracord as a ridge line. So we start off with attaching the ridge line between two trees. I'm also using a prusik knot with a carabiner. Okay, for the lean to or a tarp shelter, you need uh, the ridge line, the prusik knots, and pegs. You start off with opening the shelter, attach it. To the carabiners and take out the back of the bag. And now you have a spacious lean to shelter. For this shelter, you need an additional paracord or a line. You move the pegs a bit forward. You detach the carabiner. And attach the string to the corner. And then you peg out the front. And with this lean to with an overhang, you have a good shelter against the rain and snow. For the next setup, you need uh, pegs or stakes, a ridge line, and fjellduken. You attach the length of the tarp to the ridge line and then you take the pegs go into the center of the fjellduken pull it backwards as a lean to shelter and attach the pegs this way <clears throat> you get a lean-to shelter with a ground sheet. The next one is a survival shelter. I'm using it as a bivy bag and a wind bag. In here it's space enough for one person and my backpack. For the A-frame you need four pegs. One peg for each corner. To start out with uh, the ridge line, throw the tarp over, attach the center and then you take one peg in each corner, stretch it out,
this way. You get a spacious shelter with room enough for two persons. And now I begin with the center of the Fjelldukun. Attach it to the ridge line. Then I take the cone and the bungee cord. Go to the back. Find the find the center of the Fjelduk. Put your arm and the cone inside one length. Grab the cone, take the bungee cord with a knot around the cone and tighten. Then you take the power cord or the bungee cord, attach it to the ridge line. And tighten. Then you can peg out the corners. And to protect you against the wind, you peg out the center in the back as well. And this way you have a shelter almost like a tent. It's closed in the back and in front you can have a small fire. For the plow I'm using a jungle cord. It's a paracord with knots. It's about one fist between every knot. It's double and I'll show you how to use it. You take the jungle cord around the tree and through the hoop like so. And when this tightens, it won't slip. Then you take a peg, find the center in the back, and stake it out. And then the two corners in front. Take the corners in the back and put them inside. And voila, you have a plow. It's a small shelter with room enough for one person. Life is good. Well guys, I hope you find this video useful. I have been using uh, Fjellduken since uh, the mid 90s and I always bring it along on my uh, hikes and trips. 
So, until next time, see ya!